To priests, the day you will be asked to deny my divinity is not far away. Monday, July 15, 2013 at 5.52 p.m. My dearly beloved daughter, I must reach out to my priests, who are now beginning to realize that I am speaking to the world, through these messages, at this time. You must be careful. You must adhere to the rules of my church on earth, once they remain as they have been and are not changed. Do not feel disheartened, for you have been enriched with the gift of the Holy Spirit. When you are asked to deny me, it will be done in a subtle, but deadly way. You will be asked to embrace the doctrine of all religions outside of Christianity. You will be told that this is for the good of all and that this new, all-inclusive approach, is a means to an end, where humanity can finally be united, through peaceful means. All other religions, creeds, faiths and doctrines, which honor my Father, but which do not acknowledge me, Jesus Christ, will be taken under the wing of the Antipope. You, through the power of the beast, as is his way, will be coaxed to embrace your fellow brothers and sisters. All faiths, which honor God, you will be told, are united as one in the eyes of God. When you object, you will be scolded. When you explain that the only way to God, my beloved Father, is through Jesus Christ, this is what you will be told. You do not understand that God loves all his children, therefore, by not showing love and compassion for his church by embracing them, including their faiths, you are a hypocrite. Now, know this. When you accept that all religions must be embraced as one, that you have to move to one side to show respect to those creeds, which do not acknowledge the Son of Man, then you will be guilty of a terrible sin. You will then be denying me. To those who may be led into this deceit, know that other signs will emerge, which point to one thing, my divinity will no longer be proclaimed. Your churches will see new crosses emerge where the head of the beast will be embedded within them, your altars will be changed and will mock me. Every time you see new and unusual symbols in my church, look carefully because the beast is arrogant and he flaunts his wickedness by displaying signs which honor him. Those amongst you, who are not alert to this deceit, will find yourselves sucked into practices which do not honor me. They will disguise the true intent, which will be to pay homage to Satan and his wicked spirits. The signs have begun. The actions I speak of are still to come, but the day you will be asked to deny my divinity is not far away. You must keep your eyes open for those who say they come in my name, but who instead honor the beast, for they have already spread their wings. They rule within your midst, but so many of you cannot see the abomination, yet. But, if you love me, I will grant you the graces to see the truth, for I will never forsake you. The time is close and you must prepare yourselves, for the darkness will descend soon. Those of you who are blessed with the light of God will suffer at the hands of my enemies. Remember these words, recite them and I will reveal the truth to you, through the gift of the Holy Spirit. Crusade Prayer 114 for priests to receive the gift of truth. My Lord, open my eyes. Allow me to see the enemy and close my heart to deceit. I surrender all to you, dear Jesus. I trust in your mercy. Amen. Dear Jesus.